Laudetur Jesus Christus, praise be Jesus Christ. Welcome to the live broadcast of the Via Crucis with Pope Francis. We are coming to you live from the Colosseum in Rome, where thousands of the faithful have gathered on this Good Friday to pray the Stations of the Cross as we commemorate and walk with Christ through his passion and death on the cross. As we await Pope Francis's arrival, we welcome all of you joining us today's broadcast through the various Vatican news platforms as well as Mondo Visione. And to all of our viewers and listeners from Catholic TV, CBS News, Catholic Faith Network, Shalom World TV, EWTN, Salt and Light, Radio Maria in Lithuania, Shalom TV, Atmardashan TV, Luminous Radio, and Radio Maria Latvia, and wherever you're joining us today, welcome. It is an absolutely perfect evening here in the Eternal City with the moon rising over the Colosseum. Pope Francis has arrived moments ago as he prepares to take his place here on the Palatine Hill to begin this evening's ceremony. I'm Mary Shovlin. Joining me to provide commentary this evening and translation for this event is Ben Sinclair, a seminarian studying here in Rome at the Venerable English College. Ben, thank you for being here. Good evening, Mary. It's great. Thank you. Ben, the Vatican often sets a certain theme for the Via, Via Crucis each year for the meditations. This year, Pope Francis has asked families each to write a meditation for each of the stations. Indeed, and Pope Francis wanted the families to be the protagonists of the 14 stations this year, which have been dedicated to them in which the Church is celebrating the fifth anniversary of the apostolic exhortation Amoris Laetitia, happiness of the journey they have started. They have fears and uncertainties about what will happen to them in the future. And Pope Francis wishes that their voices can be heard by all, so that we can have greater love and understanding for our brothers and sisters. And Ben, we hear some of these families, they're gathered thousands here at the Colosseum. We have not been able to be here for the past two Good Fridays because of the pandemic. Uh, but there's great joy here this evening as well, as the Holy Father has taken his place here with so many pilgrims from all over the world as we prepare to journey together through this Via Crucis. Uh, as we are here, the Holy Father is praying this Via Crucis uh, with thus and throughout the world he's also asked his almoner cardinal krayuski to return to kiev in ukraine to be a sign of the holy father's presence there for holy week and easter in fact his eminence cardinal krayuski together with the papal nuncio today prayed the way of the cross there and some of the areas that have been hardest hit by this ongoing war and he told in in an interview yesterday with vatican news cardinal krayuski said in a private way, we will walk our way of the cross, where the tr true passion of Jesus is, where people suffer and die. But we will end the way of the cross with the station of the resurrection. Ben, the Holy Father has spoken a lot about the ongoing war in Ukraine and the need for peace. He has, and as recently on Wednesday in his weekly general audience, the Holy Father said that while, rather than having weapons of destruction and warfare, we should be using the weapons of the gospel weapons such as prayer, tenderness, forgiveness and freely given love to one's neighbour, any neighbour whom we might encounter on the streets or in our homes or in our families. And only by using these weapons can we bring God's peace into the world. And we've heard him speak so often about the suffering in many other countries like Syria, Yemen, the Democratic Republic of Congo, all of these countries and far too many of them experiencing their own calvary because of war famine and horrible tragedies we bring all of these prayers together at the foot of the cross this evening this prayer lifts up the prayers of the whole world to god for those of you following along on tv we see that the holy father has taken his place on this the palatine hill which overlooks the Colosseum. the thousands of faithful have gathered their candles are lit um ben walk us through this structure how will this ceremony go this evening so we have the Stations of the Cross, which are which which which, which will start off with a prayer by the Holy Father, um, and then we will start every station with the words, "We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you." And w the people there here respond this evening, "Because by your cross we have redeemed you have redeemed the world." There will then be a short scripture passage and a time of meditation, given by one of the families whom we've already discussed, families with their own lives and not their own circumstances. And in between the different stations, we'll be hearing the scholar sing the Stabat Mater, which is a meditation on the Blessed Mother Mary's experience of walking along the cross with, 
with, with our Lord to his death, um, which will, of course, be followed in a couple of days by his resurrection. And each of the stations where you will hear the main English, the main language this evening will be Italian. The Our Father will be prayed at each station in Latin. And those of you joining us through the means of social communications and TV and radio, we invite you to pray with us. Um, to join in when when possible to these prayers each of these stations will invite us to pray together the our father for example so we hope that as you tune in you will also pray along with us uh, we see many uh, religious sisters and families again people from all over the world and it's just a true joy to be here this evening and to see it so full after uh, years of not being able to do so we remember so well the holy father's Via Crucis last year in St. Peter's Square, an empty, you know, St. Peter's Square just with a few scouts who were entrusted with last year's meditations. And the year before that, of course, um, a very trying two years indeed. And this is certainly a welcome sight. It is. It's, it's wonderful to see so many people gathered together in prayer on this Good Friday, one of the most, the solemn, the most solemn day of the, the church's year is as the church recognizes and remembers the, the death of our Lord on the cross. And these people, as well as all of you at home and, every, and many more people around the world will be joined in praying the Stations of the Cross at some point throughout the, the day today. Um, the Stations of the Cross have been made very famous by St. Francis of Assisi, who allowed the um, diffusion of the Stations of the Cross to come into, the, the, into Western Europe and into the, the church. And nowadays, of course, many stations are lined with the, the Stations of the Cross, which many faithful and many people pray during the, the Fridays of Lent, and especially today, Good Friday, and we can see here this evening the, the Holy Father being one of those praying on this on this most solemn day. And it's significant as well, mm. having it take place at the Colosseum, which in recent times goes all the way back to Paul the VI, um, to remember those who have lost their lives here for the faith, and just takes us right back to our roots, uh, of the Christian faith, the very beginnings, which were such a struggle, of course, and the struggles, of course, continue today for Christians around the world enduring persecution. The crowds erupting there in a brief cheer as the Holy Father stood up to put on his coat. It's quite damp and chilly uh, out here this evening. Indeed, the Colosseum has been a very significant place to hold the Stations of the Cross in the previous couple of years, um, starting from the 1750 and as we can see, this station, this, these stations started with Paul VI in 1970 and continue to this day. The crowd coming to a hushed, prayerful silence as we are ready to begin. As the final preparations um, are taking place, we will be guided with the singing of the Sistine Chapel Choir this evening.
En el nombre del Padre, del Filho y del Espíritu Santo. And the Holy Father starts the stations of the cross with the sign of the cross, and we now hear the opening prayer. Lord Jesus, on this day hallowed by your passion, we lift our voices to you, confident that you will hear our prayer. We bless you, for you are the source of our life. You took upon yourself our sufferings, and by your holy cross you redeemed the world. We believe that by your wounds we are healed, that you do not abandon us in times of trial, that your gospel is true wisdom. We see your tortured body in so many of our brothers and sisters. in those persecuted, the violence you endured, in the agony of those put to death, your abandonment. You chose, you who chose to live in a family, look with kindness upon our families. Hear our prayers. Listen to our complaints. Bless our plans and resolves. Accompany us on our journey. Reassure us in our doubts. Console our hurt feelings. Give us the courage to love. Bestow the grace of forgiveness. Make all families open to the needs of others. Signore Gesù, tu che sei il crocifisso risorto, fa che non ci lasciamo rubare la speranza. Lord Jesus, crucified and risen from the dead, may we not let ourselves be robbed of the, new, of the hope of a new humanity, of the new heavens and a new earth, where you will wipe away the tears from every eye, where pain and mourning will be no more, for the old things will have passed away, and we will be one great family in your home of love and peace. Prima stazione. Gesù in agonia nell'orto degli ulivi. The first station, the agony of Jesus in the Garden of Olives. Giunsero ad un podere chiamato Getsemani. Ed egli disse ai suoi discepoli, They went to a place which was called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. And he took with him Peter and James and John, and began to be greatly distressed and troubled. And he said to them, My soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch. And going a little further, he fell to the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible with you. Remove this chalice from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. Here we are, married for just two years. Our marriage has not yet been through many storms. The pande pandemic complicated things a bit, but we are happy. Ours seems to be a long honeymoon, despite our daily bickering, despite our differences. Yet often we are afraid. When we think of couples among our friends who did not make it, when we read in the newspapers that separations are on the rise, when they tell us that surely we will break up, because that is how things are nowadays, it is a matter of statistics. When we feel alone because we do not understand each other, when we struggle to make it to the end of the month, when we feel more like strangers living under the same roof, when we wake up at night and feel in our hearts the burden and anguish of being orphaned, that is because we forget that we are sons and daughters, because we think that our marriage and our family depend only on us, 
on our own efforts. Ci stiamo rendendo conto che il matrimonio non è solo una vita. We are coming to realize that marriage is not only a romantic adventure. It is also Gethsemane. The anguish we feel before breaking our body for the other. Signore Gesù, che hai patito paura e angoscia, dona la Tu che hai pregato nell'ora della prova, dona la Tu che ci chiami a vegliare e pregare con te, We're invited now to pray together the Our Father. Sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, e dimitte nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Signore Gesù, che tra pacifici ulivi hai Lord Jesus, pregando, among the peaceful olive trees, you accepted in prayer to suffer for us even to death, death on a cross. Hear our prayers for newly married couples. Help them to face hardships in union with you and grant that we may all remain with you in the hour of trial, you who live and reign forever and ever. And now the, the young married couple from the first station will pass the cross for the second station to family who works in missionary field. Seconda stazione. Gesù tradito da The second station, Jesus is betrayed by Judas and abandoned by his disciples. Mentre Gesù ancora parlava, while he was still speaking, there came a crowd. Colui che si chiamava Giuda and the man called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He drew near to Jesus and kissed him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, would you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? And when those who were with him saw what would follow, they said, Lord, shall we strike with the sword? And one of them struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus said, no more of this. For those who take the sword will perish by the sword. Then all the disciples deserted and fled. We left on mission, Lord, almost ten years ago, because our own happiness was not enough. We wanted to offer our life together, so that others could experience that same joy. We wanted to show Christ's love, also to those who do not know him. It doesn't matter where. Life in community and our everyday activities have helped us raise our children with an open attitude towards life and to the world. Yet it is not easy. We do not hide the anguish and fear of leading an uncertain family life far from our country. Added to this is the terror of war that we have felt so dramatically present in these months. It is not easy to live by faith and charity alone, for often we fail to entrust ourselves completely to God's providence. 
Sometimes, faced with the pain and suffering of a mother who died while giving birth as bombs were falling, or of a family destroyed by war or hunger or injustice, the temptation is to respond with the sword, to flee, to become despondent, to give it up and leave it all behind thinking that it is not worth the effort. But this would mean betraying the poorest of our brothers and sisters, who are your flesh in the world, and who remind us that you are the Living One. Signore Gesù, che sei stato tradito con un bacio, dona nobis Tu che sei stato abbandonato dai discepoli, dona nobis pace. Tu che hai sperimentato solitudine e umiliazione, dona nobis pace. Pater Noster, qui es in celis, Santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimitte nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et nels nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Signore Gesù, che hai accolto con amore Lord Jesus, you responded with love to Judas's kiss of betrayal. Hear our prayers. Grant to missionary families the courage to bear witness to your gospel. Help all of us to answer evil with good and to be builders of peace and reconciliation. You who live and reign forever and ever. The missionary family now handing for the third station to an elderly couple without children. Terza stazione. Gesù. È condannato dal Sinedrio. The third station, Jesus is condemned by the Sanhedrin. I capi dei sacerdoti e tutto il Now the chief priests and the whole council sought testimony against Jesus to put him to death but they found none. Again, the high priest asked him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? And Jesus said, I am. And they all condemned him as deserving death. We were engaged just a few months. Then life separated us for a long time, forcing us to experience the anxious longing of hearts that beat together from afar. And once reunited, we married immediately with the haste of those who had waited impatiently for all too long. We left our parents' homes to create a home of our own. We embarked on our journey as spouses full of the dreams and also the illusions of youth. Then life showed us our limitations and changed our expectations, leading us on an uphill road until finally we had to face the fact that it would not be possible for us to become parents. Sperimentando spesso con dolore tanti giudizi. Often too, we found ourselves hurt by negative comments and judgments. We were asked a thousand times, why don't you have children? As if our marriage and our love were not enough to make us a family. 
how many unsympathetic glances had we to endure. Yet we continue to move ahead every day, holding hands, gathered caring together for a community of brothers, sisters and friends, and that amid moments of loneliness and consolation has become over time a home and a family. Signore Gesù, che hai subito l'ingiusta condanna, dona nobis pace. Tu che hai sopportato insinuazioni e accuse, dona nobis pace. Tu che innocente sei stato perseguitato, Pater Noster, qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimitte nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Signore Gesù, Lord Jesus, you were condemned unjustly. Hear our prayer. Grant that childless couples may persevere, always holding hands, in living the sacrament of conjugal love to the full. Help all of us to endure adversity with gentleness and strength, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. For the fourth station, a large family will now carry the cross. Quarta stazione. The fourth station, è rinnegato da Pietro. Peter denies Jesus. Adoramus te Christet benedicimus tibi. Via per Santa Croce in tua breve vissimo. Mentre Pietro era giù nel cortile, venne una delle As Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the maids of the high priest came, and seeing Peter warring himself, she looked at him and said, You also were with the Nazarene, Jesus, but he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you mean. And immediately the cock crowed a second time. And Peter remembered how Jesus had said to him, Before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. And he broke down and wept. When we married, we thought that we would not be able to have children. Then on our honeymoon, the first child arrived and it changed our lives. We had planned to take things slower, to find fulfillment in work, to travel, to try to live as if we were eternally dating. Yet even as we were marveling at the beauty of this gift, the second child came, a little girl. As we look back on it now, the others arrived the same way, almost without our noticing it. And our dreams? They were shaped by events. Our professional fulfillment? Changed by the facts of life that burst upon us. And then the fear that one day we might be tempted to give, it, give up on it all, like Peter, in the face of anxiety, discouragement because yet another unexpected expense, or worry about tensions with teenage children. 
Our former desires yielded to our family. It is not easy to be sure, but it is infinitely more beautiful this way. And despite our worries and our very full days, which always seem to pass too quickly, we would never think of going back. Signore Gesù, che hai asciugato le lacrime di Pietro, buona nobis pace. Tu che perdoni chi riconosce di aver peccato, buona nobis pace. Tu che comprendi le nostre incertezze, Pater Noster, qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimitte nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittibus debitoribus nostris, et nes nos nucas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Signore Gesù, che ha Lord Jesus, you open your arms to embrace all who beg forgiveness. Hear our prayer. Grant that large families may overcome with joy whatever hardships they may face, and that all of us may rise again after every fall. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. For the fifth station will be carried, the cross will be carried by a family with a disabled child. The fifth station, Jesus is judged by Pilate. Pilate again said to them, then what shall I do with the man whom you call the king of the Jews? And they cried out again, Crucify him. And Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas. And having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Our son was already judged before he came into the world. We met doctors who cared for his life in the womb and doctors who clearly communicated that it was better that he not be born. And when we chose life, we also were judged. We were told, he will be a burden to you and to society. Crucify him. Yet he had done no wrong. How often the world's judgment is hasty and superficial, and how and can hurt us even by a glance. We bear the shame of being different. Often we elicit more sympathy than real understanding. Disability is not a badge or a label. Instead, it is the garb of a soul that frequently prefers to be silent in the face of unjust judgments, not out of shame, but out of mercy towards those who do the judging. We are not immune from the cross of doubt or from the temptation to wonder how it would be if things had gone differently. But in reality, 
disability is a condition. It does not define us. And thanks to God, the soul knows no barriers. Signore Gesù, che hai guardato con amore i tuoi avversari, dona nobis pace. Tu, che non hai temuto chi uccide il corpo ma non la vita, dona nobis pace. Tu, che giudichi con amore misericordioso, Pater Noster, qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimitte nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Lord Jesus, you were judged in the eyes of the world. Hear our prayers for families with suffering children. Grant them consolation in their struggles. May all of us choose, cherish, and love life always and in every situation. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Carrying the cross for the sixth station. The sixth station is Jesus scourged and crowned with thorns. The cross is being carried by a family that manages a home for families. Pilato, dopo aver fatto flagellare Gesù, Pilate, after having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified, and they clothed him in a purple cloak, and plating a crown of thorns, they put it on him. And they began to salute him, Hail, King of the Jews. And they struck his head with a reed and spat upon him. And they knelt down in homage to him. La nostra casa è grande, non solo in termini di spazio. Our house is large, not only in terms of space, but above all for the wealth of humanity it contains. From the beginning of our marriage, it was never just the two of us. Our vocation to accept suffering was, and still is, anything but sad, even after 42 years of marriage, three biological children, nine grandchildren, and five adopted children who are not self-sufficient and who have serious mental health issues. We do not deserve a life so full of blessings. Those who are convinced that it is inhumane to abandon a suffering person find themselves moved by the Holy Spirit to act and not remain indifferent and aloof. Suffering changed us. Suffering brings us back to what is essential. It sets life's priorities in order, and it makes us appreciate the dignity of every man and, e and every woman. Along the way of the cross, experienced by those who were scourged and crucified in our world, we discovered at their side and beneath the weight of their cross, we discovered that the true king is the one who gives of himself and is given as food soul and body. Signore Gesù, che sei stato flagellato nella carne e nello spirito, dona nobis pace. Tu, 
che hai conosciuto il dolore innocente. Tu che sei stato umiliato, insultato, coronato di spine. Pater Noster, qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimitte nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo, Amen. Signore Gesù, che hai patito dolore e disprezzo, ascolta la nostra supplica. Lord Jesus, you endured suffering and contempt. Hear our prayer. Grant that our families may learn to welcome those who are suffering and that all of us may accept our responsibility to care for those experiencing pain and sorrow. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Christi Madre contemplare, volente un figlio. The cross will be carried for this, the seventh station by a family with an ill parent. For the seventh station, Jesus carries his cross. Dopo essersi fatti beffe di Gesù, when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. And they led him out to crucify him. Una mattina come tante, mia moglie è svenuta due volte. One morning, like many others, my wife passed out twice. We rushed to the hospital and discovered a disease in her brain that was already spreading. Then, the operation, rehabilitation, and continuing care. Today, our daily life is completely changed. Il Signore ci parla attraverso accadimenti The Lord speaks to us through events that we do not always understand, takes us by the hand and guides us to, de to develop our better selves. My wife had a job, a position, a garment to wear, and she suddenly found herself completely changed, naked, defenseless, crucified and I with her. As a result of this disease, this cross, we became a pillar on which our children know that they can lean. It was not like that before. I could almost say that now, with her eyes beholding their raw pain, she is fully a, wo a mother and a wife without frills in the simplicity of a new and more difficult life. Feeling helpless, pinned down by incessant worry, has also forced me, who was so stubbornly proud, to discover in other families the wonderful gift that they are. Those who try to make you laugh, those who help you with the cooking, who take your children to catechism, who listen to you, who give you an understanding look, and who, despite equally, if not more complicated situations, are constantly concerned for you. Signore Gesù, che non hai cercato onori mondani, dona nomi space. Tu che ti sei fatto carico dei pesi di tutti i mortali, dona nomi space. Tu che hai abbandonato 
abbracciato il pesante legno della croce. Pater noster, qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimitte nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo, Amen. Signore Gesù, Lord Jesus, you made the instrument of death an inexhaustible fountain of life. Hear our prayers. Grant that children may care for their parents, watching over them with gratitude, and that all of us may learn from you the joy of loving and of generous self-giving, you who live and reign forever and ever. The cross is now being passed to a couple who are grandparents. Ottava stazione. Gesù è aiutato dal eighth station. Simon the Cyrenian helps Jesus to carry the cross. Mentre i soldati lo conducevano via, as they led him away, they seized a man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country, and they laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. We retired two years ago, and just as we began to think about how we could use our newfound energy, we learned that our son-in-law had lost his job. During the pandemic, we watched helplessly as our eldest daughter's marriage went through a crisis. Then our grandchildren began to fill our home with liveliness and chaos, and not just on Sundays, in a way that had not happened since our own three children were small. We put a child seat in the car and brought a blackboard in order to write down our five grandchildren's appointments in case we forgot something. While we don't have the strength we used to, our wealth of experience makes us approach life more calmly than when we had the energy to be rushing about. We feel the weight of the cross of insecurity about the future of family and work. And at this time of life, when we would naturally worry about our own flagging strength and the undeniable fear of death, an unexpected cross has been placed upon our shoulders. We are slowing down, and in the evenings we laugh, but we also find ourselves weeping with compassion, yet being oxygen for our children's families is a gift that brings back the feelings we had when they were little. You never stop being a mother and a father. Signore Gesù, che hai condiviso il peso della croce, dona nobis pace, tu che ci sottoponi al giudizio della tua croce, dona nobis pace, tu che chiedi di seguirti portando la nostra croce, Pater Noster, 
qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra, pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimitte nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Signore Gesù, che ci Lord Jesus, you call us to carry each other's burdens. Listen to our prayers. Grant that our families may learn to share their joys and their fears so that all of us can practice genuine fraternity. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. For the ninth station, the cross will be carried by an adoptive family. The ninth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. Seguiva Gesù una grande moltitudine di popolo e di donne. A great number of the people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Now there are four of us. For many years there were two of us, and we faced the cross of loneliness and the realization that we would become parents in a way far different than what we had always imagined. Adoption is the story of a, locked, a, a life marked by the cross, the pain of loss healed by acceptance. But the pain is never fully healed. Adoption is a cross that parents and children carry together on their shoulders, bearing it, trying to alleviate the pain, but also embracing it as part of the child's life. Still, it hurts to see children suffer because of their past. It hurts trying to keep, to keep trying to love them without being able to make a dent in their pain. We have adopted one another. Every single day, though we wake up knowing it was worth it, that all our efforts are not in vain, that this cross, for all its pain, hides a secret happiness. Signore Gesù, che hai raccolto lo sguardo delle donne di Gerusalemme, dona la pace. Tu che hai asciugato lacrime e consolato cuori, dona la pace. Tu hai percorso con coraggio la via della croce dona la pace Pater noster qui es in celis santificetur nomen tuum adveniat regnum tuum fiat voluntas tua sicut in cielo et in terra pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimitte nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Signore Gesù, che stai Lord Jesus, la croce, you went to meet aperte, the cross with open eyes and a ready heart. Hear our prayer. 
Granted, parents and their adopted children may grow together as welcoming families and that we all help bring joy to our neighbor. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. For the tenth station, the cross will be carried by a widow with children. Decima stazione. The tenth station. Jesus is crucified. Adoramus te Christo et benedicimus tibi. Via per sanctam crucem tuam redemissimo. Quando giunsero sul luogo chiamato When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing, and they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by, watching, but the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him reading, This is the king of the Jews. Siamo una madre e due figli. Da oltre sette anni... We are a mother and two children. For over seven years now, we have been a chair with three legs instead of four. Good and beautiful, even if a little unstable. Even every family, even the most lopsided, hurting, strange and incomplete, finds its deepest meaning beneath the cross. Ours too. We have experienced, not without tears and pain, that Jesus, embracing the wood of the cross, looks at us and never abandons us. He is not simply the generic love of a creator for his creatures. He also commends us. He also commends to us a friend, a mother, a son, a brother, and to a church that, for all her faults, stretches out a hand, and however impossible it may seem, at times bears the burden for us allowing us occasionally to catch our breath. Love multiplies because it is freely given. Those times where I am tempted to ask the question, if he saved others, if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one, could he not have saved my husband too? But Jesus' wounds on the cross become a treasure, a source of new and closer bonds and relationships. Love becomes real because in the abyss of our pain and amid our hardships, we know that we have not been abandoned. Perdonato i tuoi uccisori, non Pater noster, qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimitte nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Signore Gesù, che con le braccia aperte in croce, Lord Jesus, with your arms outstretched on the cross, you embrace all who are alone or abandoned. Hear our prayers. Grant that families suffering the loss of a parent may know your closeness in their sorrow. 
and that all of us may learn to weep with those who weep. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. For the eleventh station, a family will carry the cross with a child who has entered the consecrated life. The eleventh station, Jesus promises the kingdom to the good thief. Quando giunsero sul luogo chiamato Cranio, When they came to the place which is called the skull, there they crucified him, and the criminals, one on the right and one on the left. One of the criminals said to him, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingly power. And he said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Only now can we laugh as we recall all the expectations we had for our son. We raised him to be happy and to have a fulfilling life. We had hoped that he would follow his grandfather's footsteps. Yes, perhaps we wanted a very different life for him. A family, a job, children, grandchildren. In short, a normal life. We had already lived his life for him. But then you came and you upset everything. You swept away our dreams for something greater. You made sure that his life did not take the usual path. And you called him to yourself. But why? Why him? Why our son? At first, we did not take it well. We argued with him. We turned away from him. We believed that our coolness would make him retrace his steps. We tried to plant doubt in his mind about whether he was taking the wrong path, like those two thieves. But we came to realize that no one can fight with you. We are a glass of water, and you are the sea. We are a spark, and you are the fire. And now, like the good thief, we too ask you to remember us when you come into your kingdom. Ci hai aperto le porte del paradiso perduto. Dona nobis pace. Pater noster, qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimitte nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Signore Gesù, che ci hai rivelato i misteri Lord Jesus, you reveal to us the mysteries of your kingdom, where the greatest is the one who serves. 
Hear our prayers. Guide parents to encourage the vocation of their children and help all of us to be your faithful disciples, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. For the twelfth station, the cross will be carried by a family who has lost a child. Dodicesima stazione. Gesù. The twelfth station, Jesus entrusts his mother to the beloved disciple. Adoramus te Christ et benedicimus tibi. Via per sanctam crucem tuam redemisti mundum. Stavano presso la croce di Gesù, sua madre, la sorella di sua madre Maria. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. Eravamo in cinque in casa. There were five of us in our family. Myself, my husband and our three children. Five years ago, life got complicated. A diagnosis that was hard to accept. A form of cancer that showed every minute on the face of our youngest daughter. An illness which didn't stop her from smiling, but which made the horrible injustice we were experiencing all the more painful. Then to add insult to injury, my husband died suddenly after six years of marriage. Thus plunging us into a period of excruciating loneliness, during which two years later we accompanied our little girl to her grave. Five years have passed since the beginning of this turn of events, which we have been absolutely unable to grasp rationally. Yet we are certain that the Lord was, and continues to be, present in this great cross. God does not call those who are strong, but he strengthened those whom he calls. That is what a religious sister told us one day. And those words have changed our outlook on life in release recent years. The biggest falsehood we had to fight was the thought that we were no longer a family. I know no other way to deal with my heartbreak and my searing pain other than to entrust myself to the Lord who walks beside me on this earthly journey. Many times, during my daughter's chemotherapy sessions, I felt like Mary beneath the cross. And it is that experience that makes me feel today, even if only a little, like the mother of my Lord. Signore Gesù, che hai conosciuto lo strazio degli affetti, Dona nobis pace. Tu che non hai dato alla morte l'ultima parola. Dona nobis pace. Tu che ci hai donato per testamento la tua stessa madre. Dona nobis pace. Pater Noster, qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimitte nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos Amalo. Amen. Signore Gesù, Lord Jesus, before your dying breath, you gave us your mother and commended us to her care. 
Hear our prayer. Grant that families experiencing the death of a child may cherish the grace received in the gift of their life. May all of us, strengthened by the Spirit, be conformed your will, be conformed to your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The 13th station, the cross will be carried by a Ukrainian family and a Russian family. The 13th station, Jesus dies on the cross. Alle tre, Gesù gridò a gran voce. At the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And one of the bystanders ran and filling a sponge full of vinegar, put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come down to and save him. And Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. Il silenzio è più eloquente del... In the face of death, silence is more powerful than words. Let us therefore pause in prayerful silence and let us all in our own heart pray for peace in the world. Signore Gesù, che ci hai amato sino alla fine, dona ogni space. Tu che morendo hai distrutto la morte, dona ogni space. Tu che esalando l'ultimo respiro ci hai donato la vita. Donano mi space. Pater noster, qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra, pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimitte nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Signore Gesù, che dal tuo costato trafitto, Lord Jesus, your pierced side became the wellspring of reconciliation for all peoples, Hear our humble prayer. Grant that families devastated by tears and blood may believe in the power of forgiveness and make us all builders of peace and harmony. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
the 14th station, the cross will be carried by a family of migrants. The 14th station, the body of Jesus is placed in the tomb. Giuseppe prese il corpo, lo avvolse in un lenzuolo pulito e lo Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn from the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and departed. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the sepulchre. Now we are here. We have died to our past. We wanted to live in our own land, but what prevented that? It is difficult for a family to have to choose between its dreams and its freedom, between its hopes and survival. We are here after travels in which we witness the death of women and children, friends, brothers and sisters. We are here, the survivors. We are perceived as a burden. At home, we were important. But here, we are numbers, categories and statistics. And yet, we are much more than just migrants. We are people. We came here for the sake of our children. Each day we die for them so that they can try to live a normal life. Without bombs. Without bloodshed. Without persecution. We are Catholics. But even this seems less important than the fact, than the fact that we are migrants. If we do not give up, it is because we know that the great stone at the entrance of the tomb will one day be rolled away. Signore Gesù, tolto dal legno della croce da mani amiche, donano mi space. Tu che fosti sepolto nella tomba nuova di Giuseppe d'Arimatea, donano mi space. Tu che non hai conosciuto la corruzione del sepolcro, donano mi space. Pater Noster, Qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimitte nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittibus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Signore Gesù, che sei disceso agli inferi. Lord Jesus, you descended into hell to free Adam and Eve and their children from their ancient captivity. Hear our prayers for the families of migrants. Rescue them from the deadly pain of isolation and grant that all of us may see you in every person, in every one of our beloved brothers and sisters, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Now Cardinal De Donatis, the vicar of the Diocese of Rome, will hand the cross to Pope Francis.
Pope Francis now with the final prayer. Padre misericordioso, que fai sorgere il sole su buoni e sui cattivi. Merciful Father, you make your sun rise on both good and bad alike. Do not abandon the work of your hands, for which you did not hesitate to deliver your only son, born of the Virgin and crucified under Pontius Pilate. He died and was buried in the heart of the earth. He was raised from the dead on the third day and appeared to Mary Magdalene, to Peter, and to the other apostles and disciples. He lives forever in the Holy Church, his living body in the world. Keep alight in our families the lamp of the gospel, which illumines our joys and sorrows, our struggles and our hopes. May every home reflect the face of the Church, whose supreme law is love. By the outpouring of your Spirit, help us to cast aside the old man corrupted by illusory passions. Clothe us in the new man created in justice and holiness. Take us by the hand like a father, lest we stray from you. Turn our rebellious hearts to your own heart, so that we may learn to pursue plans of peace, inspire adversaries to shake hands, and taste mutual forgiveness. Disarm the hand of the brother raised against brother, so that where there is hatred, concord may flourish. Grant that we may never act as enemies of the cross of Christ, so that we may share in the glory of his resurrection. He lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. The Holy Father will now impart his apostolic blessing, which extends to all of us, following along on TV, radio, and the means of social communications. Signore sia con voi. Sia benedetto il nome del Signore. E lo suo aiuto nel nome del Signore. Egli ha fatto cielo e terra. Vi benedica Dio Onnipotente, Padre, Figlio e Spirito Santo. Amen. Pope Francis's apostolic blessing, bringing this evening's celebration of the Via Crucis to a close, the crowd erupting in spontaneous applause with Viva il Papa, rejoicing in the fact to be together here once all gathered again. Sistine Chapel Choir singing the Crux Fidelis, Faithful Cross. Good Friday being, of course, all about the cross. Christianity, a religion of the cross. The faithful gather now applauding. Pope Francis waving goodbye to His Holiness. Pope Francis now greeting many of the bishops and civil authorities who have come to be here for this evening's Via Crucis. A solemn day, Good Friday, a day of silence, mourning and darkness. We see many blowing out their candles now. We are still in this period of mourning and darkness, Good Friday, but in this darkness, the light of hope already begins to shine. Hope in the promise of his resurrection. As we see these candles here tonight, we will see them again tomorrow evening for the Easter Vigil. 
And we invite you all, of course, to join us for that Easter Vigil live from St. Peter's Basilica tomorrow evening at 7.30 p.m. Rome time. And as our coverage of this very moving and very powerful prayer of the Via Crucis comes to an end, we invite you to visit the Vatican News web portal, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube channels, and accounts for a summary of today's celebration, as well as of other coverage of Vatican and world news. You'll be able to read uh, the Holy Father's uh, words and reflections over these past few days for Holy Week. We're very much still, this is the Triduum, the Paschal Triduum. So we'll be able to read those and other world news stories, as Ben mentioned. A special thanks to you, Ben, for joining me this evening for this event. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mary, and thank you for all of you for joining us. And I wish you a very prayerful pilot rest of the Easter Triduum. We'd also like to thank everyone who worked so hard behind the scenes to make this broadcast possible. The cameramen, audio and broadcast technicians, translators. Thank you to our partners at Eurovision for offering this event in Mondo Visione. On behalf of Vatican Media, thank you for joining us. We wish you a blessed continuation of the Sacred Triduum. Join us again tomorrow evening, as we said, for the Easter Vigil with Pope Francis, live from St. Peter's Basilica, 7.30 p.m. Rome time. We hope that you will. Laudetur Jesus Christus.